If you're encountering a blue screen on your Windows computer that is usually accompanied by the error message IRQL not less or equal, then keep watching as in this video I'm going to provide you with some quick and easy solutions that you can use to fix this issue. The first thing we need to do is come to our start menu and search for programs, tap on the add or remove programs tab and inside of here we want to sort by date installed and then you want to look to see if you've installed any applications recently that could be causing this issue. If you do have an application in here that you suspect, then simply come over to the three little dots and select uninstall. Once we've ruled out any third party applications, we can close out of this window and come back to the start menu, search for device manager, tap on the device manager tab, and then where it says disk drives, press the arrow to expand this tab, and you wanna select the disk drive that you have listed here, and we're gonna right click and select update driver. We can then press search automatically for drivers, and Windows is gonna scan your computer to make sure your drivers are fully up to date. We can then close out of this window and back to the start menu, search for settings, and tab on the settings icon. Scroll all the way down to Windows Update on the left and you want to make sure you're running the latest version of Windows. If you do have an update pending here, make sure to install it now. If no updates are listed here, then you can just press the check for updates button and make sure you're running the latest version of Windows. We can then come to the start menu and search for CMD and you want to right click on command prompt and make sure to run as administrator. Inside of this black window, we're going to type in the following commands, sfc space slash scan now and hit enter. What this is going to do is it's going to scan your core Windows system files to make sure nothing's corrupt or broken. Just wait for the verification process to get to 100% and this can take a couple of minutes to complete. Once the scan's complete, we need to type in a similar command and you need to type in dism dot exe space slash cleanup hyphen image space slash restore health and then hit enter once again wait for this bar to get to 100 percent and then the final command you need to type in here is to check our hard drives you need to type in chk dsk space c colon space slash f slash x slash r and then hit enter now if you get an error like this it just means the c drive is currently in use all you need to do is type y and then hit enter and then it's going to check the disk the next time the computer restarts. We can then close out of this command prompt and the last thing we're going to do is come back to the start menu and search for Windows Memory Diagnostic. Then tap on the Windows Memory Diagnostic tab and we need to select Restart Now and check for any problems. Once your computer's restarted, hopefully that's fixed any issues that you're having with the blue screen. If you still are experiencing issues, then I'd recommend to run an antivirus program on your computer and scan for any malware or viruses. If this video did help you, please drop a like and subscribe. Until next time.